apologize since my last letter. I am writing to you because I worry whether I will be able to later. If I do, at least I will have these letters as proof of what I have endured. In any case, I needed to do something to uh, unfluster, uh, unfluster on my nerves. Hopefully the account will become legible the more I write. I have made a grave mistake and I am petrified. What with the people crawling over my luggage, I thought I was joining a caravan for the whole of the trip. And I did. I, I did. Yet here I am. I'm alone in a sweltering, maleficent jungle with this barbarous man. When he approached me at the docks, I thought an interpreter would join us. We got along amiably with gesticulations. I, I thought it was a fun challenge. He only spoke that one time asking for my bag. And we did join a caravan with many English speakers. I was offered so many repugnant morsels of food. But uh, alas, I, 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 I must become accustomed eventually. But I cannot explain it. All I know is that they are gone. We set up a camp together. I went to relieve myself. I come back and they're all gone. No trace. I tried to interrogate the footman, but he just smiled and did that bizarre head wobble. Then, without warning or solicitation, he, start, he started rubbing a pungent salve on my hands. I have never been manhandled thus. I, I wish I could say that I set him in his proper place, but I froze. He mumbled some incoherent chant and I... I caught the word bag again, but I have given up comprehension. He then foisted a tiny saucer and pressed it to my lips. I did not want him anywhere near my lips, so I, I snatched the china and gulped the contents. <sighs> Heaven preserve me, Felicity. I think it was blood. I cannot dissipate the taste. I am close to losing all decorum to him so that I may spit. I, I am now a quivering statue, unable to stop moving, unable to run, desperately trying to discern any sound or evidence of the caravan. I, I, I cannot fathom what will come of this night. I... <sighs> I am only assuaged with the comfort of knowing that I love you. <laughs> and perhaps one day, my soon-to-be husband, Imogene.